Okay, so we're gonna apply false lashes and this is the way that I learned to do it. Um, I learned to do it, but figured out is the easiest way for me. So I'm gonna apply these House of Lashes Iconics and they are super thick and full and luscious and perfect for a night out. So what I normally do is make sure that my eyelashes are not going all wonky and just kind of come on through this. It's just a little spoolie. It has junk on it. Don't mind the fuzz balls. And I just kind of come through them. Just so they're not going crazy. Then I just take any mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush. And you want to apply the mascara to your eyelashes prior to. And it doesn't have to be anything thick. So just a really easy coat. Because this is going to help yours blend with the falsies. So just a little something like that. I didn't curl them. So you can see now that I've zoomed just a little bit. Come on. Okay, so tweezers, your favorite pair, whatever. Glue, that's important. Scissors and lashes. Those are everything we're gonna need. These ones are the iconics. And so when you're pulling lashes off, you want to be really, really careful not to. I'm going to try to do this while I'm filming this like that. Because there's a little bit of glue stuck, so you can see how they just come off. Oh, they are so pretty. Okay, so now... I'm going to measure them to my eye. Sometimes some lashes are a little bit stiffer than others. A cool little trick is just take a mascara wand or a brush or anything around and you can kind of stick it around it like that and that's going to help round them out a little bit more to your eye so they're not so flat across. So I'm going to go ahead and measure and I probably should have done this prior to mascara but we're just going to roll with it. So I'm just setting them down and measuring them to my eyes. Sometimes you may have to cut, sometimes you may not have to cut. I think that these ones are a hair too long for where I like to start. So what I'm going to do is really carefully, I'm going to take the lash and I'm going to cut from this inner corner. Because I don't want to take any of this little wispy fullness away. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to cut it the tiniest little bit. Because they're so pretty and I just don't want to really mess with them too much. And you don't want your eyelashes to go all the way into the inner corner or else it's going to look way too fake. Our goal is to not so much look natural with these ones. These are more for going up but to look seamless. Okay, so now that I have that measured, I'm gonna go ahead and take my eyelash glue. And this one is amazing, and this is why I got it, because it's got a little wand part. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the band where we're gonna be sticking it. It doesn't have to be too crazy much, and I'm just kind of holding it And doing a nice coat. 
basically. Okay, so now you're gonna want to let it dry for like 30 seconds or so because I want it, we want it to be tacky. And I usually just hold it with my tweezers, just gently. And it's tricky, I'm not claiming to be a, per, you know, a baller at putting lashes on. It is hard, but the more you do it, the better you get, I guess, like with everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay these down. I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can freaking see it. Okay, so. I'm just going to set them. So I just set them. And I'm wiggling them where I like to put them. As close to my natural lashes as possible. And then I'm gonna kind of wait a sec and pinch them. And you want to be really careful when you're pinching them close together not to pinch your actual eye because that freaking hurts. And then just press them like so. So you want them to be up. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side and then we're gonna come back and do the final step. Okay, so you have applied both sides. They look pretty, they're fluttery. Now, another little trick to conceal the band of the eyelashes. Use any kind of liquid liner you want or shadow. I've seen lots of people use shadow. And we're just gonna put a little bit over top of our band to help conceal it. So I just put a little bit. Then last step to blend even more. I just go ahead and take my mascara again and I'm going to tap at my root of my lashes. I'm going to try not to get any product on the lashes out here because that tends to make them start looking really fake really fast. And it doesn't make your lashes last as long. And we want to be able to get as many wears as we can out of these if we take good care of them because some lashes are more expensive than others. And we want to be able to get, you know, 20 some uses out of a $40 pair of lashes. So that just kind of presses our natural to the fake. Falsies. Then there you have it. Okay, thanks guys for watching. I hope you learned a little something from um, my version on how to do falsy 
lashes. Um, all right, there you go, guys. Um, this is how I apply falsies. I know there's tons of different ways, and you just kind of want to play around with it to see which way suits you best. So, and which lashes you like better, and the glue. But I really, really recommend the House of Lashes um, glue just because of the easy application it has. It's just got like the coolest little wand, so I know how the, like the duo, you can kind of get it to squirt out too much and then you have a hot mess all over your falsies. So I totally recommend this um, brand of adhesive and these lashes are gorgeous. They're pretty inexpensive, um, but so far I've really liked them. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye. Okay, so we're gonna apply false lash. Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> Looking a hot mess. Okay, that sounds stupid. I hope you guys learned a little bit from over there. Okay. Okay. I know. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching.